Okay, show of hands, who has seen a Bruce Lee movie? Who has seen a Bruce Lee movie where he uses nunchucks to beat up all the bad guys? Who loves those movies? Okay, so we've all seen Bruce Lee and we've seen him striking and beating up everyone with nunchucks. Now I want to talk about my favorite strike as far as using an actual realistic scenario. So one of the things that, let me talk about what I don't really like. I don't like the strikes where I always come back from here and I come back to here and I have to raise it up and I strike it out here. Chambering in here is not that realistic. Let me tell you why. Because unlike in the movies, whenever you're fighting somebody, they hit back. They hit back. In the movies, they hit back too. But we know who's going to win, right? And they come in and then they get hit on their way in. Well, the thing is, if I have a weapon, chances are my opponent probably has a weapon as well. So I need to be able to block. A strike's coming at me. Oh, that's not a very good block. I could do that. Maybe, hopefully I hit their hand. If I'm going to strike like that, I want to hit their hand. I don't want to hit their weapon. Especially not with chucks, because what happens when I hit their weapon with chucks? It bounces back at me. So if I'm going to possibly get hit by my own ricochet, I want to hit them. I don't want to hit their chucks or their sword or their staff or whatever they're using. I don't care. I don't want to block that way. If I'm going to block with chucks, hopefully they're not using a blade because especially with my rope chucks, it's not going to stop a blade. But say they're using a staff or a stick or chucks themselves, I can block like this and all these weird angles going around in the circle, right? Any way that it's coming, I can block it. If it's a straight thrust, I can move it out of the way. If it's a thrust, I, I might be able to move it out of the way that way, but let's not count on that. So what I do know though, is I can block like this here. So with that in mind, with the idea of, okay, well, I should probably be able to block if I'm gonna be using a weapon, how do I strike but also be back to here and not back to here. Most of the systems they teach are like this. I know, I teach that too. So we're here, and this is my favorite strike. It's called the forehand combat strike. Or sometimes I call it the inside combat strike because we're moving and striking towards the inside. I like it because of that. You see how quickly I got back to having both my hands on the chucks? I can strike with either hand as well, unlike here, It's just not in my hand. I can't do anything with it. I can strike here. Yeah. Cool. Here I can strike with my left hand. I can strike with my right hand. It doesn't matter. So that is the re one of the reasons why this is one of my favorite strikes and all of my deemed combat strikes. That's just what I call them because I would use these. I really only have three that I would use in sparring the most. And that's because they all lead back to holding the chucks with both hands. So let me tell you how to do the forehand combat strike. The forehand combat strike, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, well, decide which hand I wanna strike with because I can strike with both. The one that I'm gonna strike with is going to be pushing forward and then I'm gonna start going palm up. Now as I do that, what I wanna do with my non-striking hand is actually pass the chuck in front of my face. Now when I pass the chuck in front of my face, that stops me from whipping it around and hitting myself in the head. Yes, you'd think, oh, I'm never going to do that. Well, when somebody's trying to hit you and you're trying to hit them back fast, things happen. Let's not get in the habit of that. So we pass it, we go palm up, we strike through, and now I'm going to bounce it off. And as it bounces off, I'm going to put my hand here. I like to call it, you know, a pistol grip. I like in the old school. So as I strike, I bounce it off and I can practice that first when you're first learning it, just pin it to yourself like this. Strike and pin it to yourself. Strike, pin it to yourself and grab. Strike, pin it to yourself. Now when you start getting more comfortable, you can allow it to actually bounce off your body and then miss it like that, it's fine. So bounce it off, practice it as much as you need to so that you start to get comfortable. You wanna be able to do a lot of these in a row and have it bouncing right back into your hand. So that's gonna be the idea of this is I can strike as many times as I can whip this around but I always go back to having both hands on the chucks because maybe I want to strike one, strike two, strike three. Oh crap, I got a block. Or maybe I got a block and then I got to strike and then I got to block again and then I got to strike again and then I block again. 
You don't know what's going to happen. So you need to be prepared for it. And the best way to be prepared for that is to have both hands on the chucks at almost all times. So again, forehand combat strike is going to look like this. I decide which hand is going to strike. The palm starts to go up. I pass the chuck in front of my face so I don't whip myself in the face. I follow through, hopefully turning your hips so you have that nice strong power. It bounces off and you just pin it or you catch it as it bounces off. When you're first learning it, pin it. Pin it to your body, grab it. And then catch it a little bit away from your body, not far. Maybe right next to your body. And then you can practice it going out. Obviously, I don't recommend this one as much. There's a lot less control when I'm catching it way further away from my body. As you saw earlier, I missed it. And it does happen. And when you're sparring, I've done this before, and I've struck, and I tried to catch it way out here, and I just completely missed it. And I was like, oh, crap, i got to hit him with this. So practice getting it close to your body at first because it is really important to be able to maintain the chucks with both hands whenever you're doing any sort of a sparring you want to be able to quickly return back to both hands on the chucks it's going to be one of the most important things whenever you're practicing for sparring